Hi, in this video I'm going to cover some of the filtering and sorting capabilities in Power Query. Now, we do have sorting, filtering and sorting capabilities already in Excel. And in Excel, there are many ways to do similar things, right? And so here's just another way to do a similar thing. Now, there's two kind of areas in filtering. We, we might want to filter and do an and kind of a filtering where we are looking at uh, a month, we want to filter for the month of April and for item one. There's also an or type of situation in filtering where we want to filter anything that quant here in this example, anything that's quantity over 300 equals 300 or greater, or sales equals 8,000 or greater. Now, in the regular filtering capabilities, you have these the drop downs here, you're only able to do pretty much an and type of a filter. Right, so we have our boxes here. If we wanted to sort for April and item one, once we do the filter drop down for April, it's going to take April. And once you do the filter drop down for item one, we're going to pick item one, and it's going to get these four records here. Now, there's not that really capability that to do this with the drop downs for this type of or situation, where if we just wanted, in addition to the the and, we wanted quantities greater than or equal to 300 or sales greater than or equal to 8,000, where then we would further have it where we picked out just these three records now, this 368 and 345, which of course is greater here, or we have our sales uh, greater than 8,000 or equal to 8,000, which will also pick this up here, right? Even though the quantity is 245. So instead of having these four records, we now have these three records. This is something that you can do with the advanced filtering capabilities in uh, Excel. You're not going to do it here where you, if you go to home and you pick a range of data and, and you click on filter, you're going to have to go to the data and click on advanced filter uh, to bring up the advanced filter to do that. And that's, there's another video that I have that will show you how to do this. But as I said before, there's many way, different ways to do similar things in Excel and I'm going to show, show you how to do it in Power Query. Now, this is the table that we have and what we can do is just bring this table into Power Query, go under Data, and from Table, we're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up the Query Editor window. And it's actually fairly easy to do in Power Query to do this advanced filter, right? So if we had our criteria from before, now you notice that we have our drop downs here, and I can select one of the drop downs for date, and we have our date time filters. We have our standard option, like equal, oops equals before after next previous now we have these date filter options right year quarter month and this is really nice now we're just going to select for month and we can do april and we can select on that but i'm not going to go do it that way what i want to do is select a go to the last one where i'm going to select the custom filter that's where i can select uh, many different type of items here so I've, i'm going to go custom filter and so in this situation i can say oh my date uh, is in the month and I can say it's in April and that's that would just apply for this date row but I don't want to stay with the basic I want to go with for advanced and this is where it really comes into play right so I can start to add different things here I can say date yes is in month April and my item is equal to item one I'm going to click OK here, and now I've got my four records here. You can see these two are filtered now. Now I want to go to my OR criteria. I'm going to select here, and you notice that if I go here, there's not really a custom, but I can just change that later on. So I'm going to say this has got to be greater than or equal to 300, right? And here, I can. Th this is where I can change it. I can go to Advance, where the quantity is greater than or equal to 300 or sales is greater than or equal to 8,000, 8123. Click OK. And now I have my three records here. And that basically is a way to do an advanced filter, but using Power Query. I can click Close and Load. It will bring me back into another sheet here and it will fill out those three values, right? I think I had those three values earlier. Let's see, 7826, 9490, Let's see if these were the values that I showed earlier, 7826, 9490, So you can see that we can 
pretty much do some pretty cool filtering within Power Query and we don't have to use the advanced filter. It's just another way to do it and the nice thing about it is if we had data that we added to the bottom of this table and we, this is something that we do on a reoccurring basis, all we need to do is just uh, refresh this query. You know, right click, refresh the query or go under data and refresh all and it will refresh it and add uh, those new items if they apply to our filtering criteria. Now let's get to sorting. So sorting is another thing that you can do in Power Query and the nice thing about it is it also gives you kind of some hints of how you're being how you're sorting things. Now of course you know that if we do sorting within a table itself, I mean you have your sorts here, so oldest and newest, or we can sort by color here, custom sort, or we can go under the home and go under the sort here and do a custom sort here and do some multi-level multi so sorting here. And I have other videos that show how to, how to sort. And again, since we are doing Power Query here, we can also do it in Power Query. So if I bring this particular item up into Power Query, I just go into data uh, from table. And one of the nice things about Power Query is you can actually uh, sort and it kind of gives you some hints which columns it's sorting first. So let's say, for example, we wanted to sort by sales. If I click on sales and I wanted to sort uh, descending, you'll notice that uh, it, we've got our drop-down arrow indicating sorting. And if I want to do another row to also do a multi-level sort, I sorted that one first. Now sort this one second. I'll sort descending. It kind of tells me. It, it kind of tells me. You can see that there's a number one here. This is being sorted first. A number two here. This is being sorted second. So that's kind of a nice visual cue in Power Query to tell you what's being sorted first. So very similar in uh, Excel where you have the custom sort. You kind of have that cue what comes first uh, in that first row of sort and the second row of sort. In Power Query, it gives you kind of a cue too, which comes first. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is sorting, descending. Of course, this one's also sorting, descending. And of course, the nice thing about Power Query is that if you had added more items later on in the, let me close this first and see. If you added more items later on in our particular uh, data set here, this, this put this, this loaded it into uh, sheet two here. But if we added more items later on down here at the bottom, and all we need to do to resort that or get that particular sort is we can refresh or go under data and just click refresh all and it will give us our updated data here. Oh, but if we do the refresh all, it will refresh both these tables here. But if this particular sort was the only table there, of course, it would just resort that one. So there's kind of just an introduction to the filtering and sorting capabilities within Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.